the complete series of Thomas and Friends. D261 messes up. The engines were gathering around for uh, for the evening. All of them gathering around. D261 didn't want to sleep. Almost done with sleep yet. I'll be quiet, Molly said. Not everyone wants to listen to your blabbering. But up at the mountains, there was an even bigger problem. Carl, come on, move! I can't, I've broken down! What? Um. What's up? Can you go tell T- Thomas that Birdie's broken, um, kind of broken down? He got it. So he drove all the way down the mountain, the twisty road. All the way. To the ship. Thomas, Thomas! Yes? What are you doing here? I'm sitting, I'm sitting back doing my jobs. What's up? Kind of broken down the mountains. I'll send, Mo- I'll send Molly to go pick him up. But who's going to do his loot? Hmm. Then Thomas had an idea. D26. Oh, this is brilliant. D26 what? Oh, spikes. Oh, sorry, sir. D261, I've got a chore for you. Yes, sir, what is it? Oh, yeah, Molly, could you please go help Connor? Oh, sure, sir. So as Molly chopped away, sir gave Connor the news. Um, J261 the news. J261. Uh, <coughs> oh, yes, sir. I've got a very important job for you. Connor's broken down. Could you bring his load back down here, please? Oh, uh, yes, I can, sir. I would be happy to. Okay, get down there. Woohoo, I've got an important job. So DT61 headed off to go help Connor out. Soon enough, Connor was seated in his position. They got fixed by the workers. And DG61 was getting ready. Ready to do his job. So he backed up the mountain. The mountain. And popped up to his load. His very big Right. Soon enough, Alfie came up. Are you sure you're going to be able to pull this? I'll be fine. Be careful going down the mountain. I warned you, didn't I? Just remember this. I told you. I warned you, didn't Did I warn you? Yes, you did. Now remember that when you fall down the hill. Fall down the hill. So he's going to get off. He got to the part where he... He got to the part where he had to go downhill. So he went up, and all of a sudden, they pushed. The trouble, the troublesome truck pushing down the hill as fast as he could. On, on, they shouted, faster and faster, as they screamed down the corner. All you can hear. Duncan was waiting at the junction. All you can hear is, help me! As he saw a by, Duncan knew what he had to do. 
he had to go and tell Thomas. All of a sudden, Diesel should swim. Zip round the corner and back to the mountains. And he was going top speed. As he hit the top and came steaming forward. He hit the top at great speed. And zoomed on. Meanwhile, Duncan was screaming his head off. Ah! Ah! Thanks, Sir Handle. Thomas, Thomas, Thomas. Yes. Um, D261 is going full speed down the hill. What? Huh? Charles and right, Spencer. Sorry. What are we gonna do? Um. So, so handle. Where is he now? He's. He, oh, check on my check camera. Check on the check on the cameras. Um. He's heading for, he's heading for the 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 uh, the um uh, the where Proteus is the mountain quarry. If I can hmm. change the points there. No, not towards there. Be too dangerous. Change the points and go straight on towards us. We're gonna change. We're gonna change the points onto onto Forgotten Fall, onto the mysterious um touch bridge where no one returns. Points. points. So are all the points set? Yeah. All right then. Okay. Spencer, since you were being so utterly rude, you can go help him. What? And yeah, you're pushing trucks. Nathan, now get going. Nathan, then, um, then, um, Let's go try um, for ten. Just go for it. I, I, I have to control these when he comes to mine. Points! Points! Uh, so Spencer's soon enough. Spencer was out of the, out of the yard and heading towards the mountain. The exact same path. This will be part one. The exact same path. No, it's the exact same path that D two six one took. Spencer was going full steam, like he'd never done before. Going through Timothy's tunnel and up onto Birdie's bridge, even though Birdie never went on it before. I don't know why they called it Birdie's bridge if no one went up there. He was like, he was still a far distance away as D261 stormed across the yard like he, well, not like, he was storming like he'd never done before. All of a sudden, his brake snapped, and his truck stormed over and knocked over the sheds that they were building for the gang. But D261, he couldn't stop. The, his, no. brake, his brakes were not working properly. No, the, the, the He's going too fast, I have to do it. No, you're not. Just keep him going on the same line. We're going to have to get Alfie into this. Sir, what are you, sir, what are you doing? Connor asked. I am going to knock down him. But Spencer did not hear of this. And he was storming up faster than he had ever gone before. Spencer! Until he forgot about the massive turn that was coming up. And then soon enough, Spencer took the turn too far and crashed. It's only one thing we can do. Ten arm Proteus is never. The handle has never left this. The handle, you know the track's best. Okay. Do a job. Change the points. Ching, ching. Wah! Ching. Sir, what are you doing? Sending him off the line. And he stormed down the line faster than he had ever done before. 
all of a sudden, he was off. So I had saved it. Two more accidents. Sir, you have a break. I'm not having a break. I'll go pick up Spencer. Sir, where is Spencer gone? Oh, uh, she, he went near the mountains. Okay. Sooner or later, engines of all shapes and sizes Asians from all over Sodor had gathered. Sure. Had gathered. Sure. Quiet engines, Thomas yelled. Due to the misconfe due to the happening that we had before. Yes, sir. To D two six one and Spencer, we will have to. <laughs> Keep the engines to know the best with quarries, like our friends the narrow gauges who have joined us. Yeah, woohoo! Who have joined us on this railway? Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for coming once again. My for the following: Duncan, Scarlowy, Peter, Sam, Luke, Sir Handle, Proteus, Mighty Mac. And Duncan. And thank you and for coming. Oh yes, and thank you for the gang for wasting their time to come to this. And so everyone, we will keep on chuffing and have a good old swell time. Now everyone, it's time to get some sleep. Yes, sir. Hmm, time to get some sleep, huh? Ooh, time for us to plan. Soon, everybody will obey me. Not Thomas, but thinking steamy. Good one, D2, six, D, D1, D2, D2, six, one. It was all in good hands, sir. Uh, all in good hands. Dun, dun, dun! Morning whistle! To fight... This was part... This... This was part... Hello, everyone, watching the channel. This was part one of a seven-part episode of Diesel Strikes Back, which will contain most of the engines. Thank you for watching, and we'll... See you in the next one. Holly, I hope you all had a good time watching this. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. And subscribe. And subscribe. We'll, we will all see you later on another episode of the complete series of Diesel and the Devious Diesel 10's Devious Plans. See you bye for now. So hey guys, we are just talking yes. and we thought about doing this, didn't we Tyler? Yeah. So yeah, this is a, like Thomas said, this is a seven part episode for something amazing. So the main plot is that the Diesel is trying to take over, like you saw in the first episode yeah. today, where D261 takes Spencer off. But to be precise, we don't like Spencer. Do you like Spencer? Mm, nope. What are you playing with? Lego guys. Some Lego guys. So yeah, I just want to say thanks for watching and we'll see you in another episode Bye. of Diesel Devious Plans. Da, da, da. Oh yeah, also don't forget to sub thumbs up, subscribe and put your notifications on to join the notification squad. We'll see you all later. Bye.